Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about uh, how to prototype uh, in Sketch uh, by using both uh, the native Sketch features and also the Craft plugin. So by the end of the video you're going to learn everything that you need to know in order to create uh, a fast and efficient prototype in Sketch. And if you're interested in free and premium resources in order to learn your UX design or to speed up your design process, feel free to check out the link in the description because I have all sorts of different resources that, to help you in doing just that. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, so let's uh, jump into it. and Let's talk about uh, prototyping in Sketch. So the very first thing that uh, we want to keep in mind is this concept of having hotspots. So in order to create our first prototypes uh, and uh, we're going to simply go over here and we're going to create uh, our very first uh, hotspot by simply going on the top left uh, menu item. We're going to click on the hotspot and uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're basically going to drag and drop uh, on this whole entire section which is going to be our hotspot. And uh, if we click on the next screen, uh, you can see that uh, now we just created a hotspot connection to the following screen. Now, what this uh, is uh, basically creating is uh, a connection between one, one element and another. And in this case, the element is this rectangle, which we just created. We can see this live by simply going uh, here, clicking on the top right, uh, play button and uh, we're going to basically see the first screen and if you don't see it uh, you can simply select from uh, the pages right here and you can click anywhere in the page uh, and uh, we're going to be redirected to the next screen which is this one right here so what we're gonna do next uh, is to try a different type of hotspot the so this one is going to simply be the element so we're just going to click on uh, login and uh, this has created the hotspot without us uh, um, manually creating uh, the area and we're going to click on uh, this uh, second screen so as you can see there's basically two hotspots that uh, options that we can create the first one is you know we can just create this rectangle and where, wherever we click in the rectangle it's going to redirect to this screen but in this case we just wanted to select this uh, this group and uh, redirect it uh, directly. So uh, let's go ahead here and uh, we're going to just create some random uh, um, hotspots around in order to really um, you know, get some, uh, some ideas going here. And uh, we're going to basically add the hamburger menu on this one here. And uh, this one is going to redirect uh, to this other screen and uh, we're also going to create a hotspot from the arrow back to the home screen so we can play around with uh, with a few concepts now one of the things that i want to show you is also how to create uh, um, a prototype with uh, some uh, uh, scrollable features so that's why i included this screen right, right here and uh, by the way guys if you're interested in uh, this uh, entire uh, kit uh, or this this mobile ui kit you can download it for free. I'm going to leave the link in the description as a freebie. So that's that. And uh, how do we access uh, this one? We're going to simply uh, have a hotspot, clicking on the menu, and uh, this is going to redirect here. So a bit of a custom solution here, but I just want to give you the uh, idea on how to create these prototypes in the fastest way possible. And I don't want to kind of like, uh, stay too much on, onto the details. So let's go over here. So this is working. This is working as well. We click here, it should be redirected to the home magically. And uh, if we click on the hamburger menu, we basically have this uh, screen here. And if we click here, we, you can see that we have uh, this uh, scrollable screen. And uh, basically one issue that we're having here is that as we're scrolling down, uh, we're not seeing uh, this uh, portfolio uh, headline and also the arrow to go back with, together with the menu. And that's something something that we want to see at all times. So we, we basically want a fixed uh, top menu. So the way you, you do that uh, is uh, quite simple. Um, you simply have to go ahead here and select all of these elements. And we're going to go on the very right and where you see the prototyping section, you simply click on fixed position when scrolling 
and uh, basically this is going to enable us to have uh, a fixed position but we're facing another issue because as you can see we don't have some sort of element which is going to divide from the content below so what we need to do is uh, we're going to create uh, a rectangle right here which uh, is essentially going to be a white rectangle we're going to remove the border we're going to add uh, just a little bit of, of shadow uh, we don't want to go too crazy with the shadow but i'm going to reduce the opacity just a bit uh, and then of course uh, we need to fix the position uh, when scrolling of this one as well so basically if you go back uh, you can see that now this is working uh, totally fine and uh, we're in business now one more thing i want to show you when it comes to prototyping a sketch is also the different transitions which we have at our disposal because if for example uh, we select the first screen and we click uh, on uh, on this uh, you can see that the transition is basically uh, we actually don't have any transition so we want to change this uh, and uh, we can do that by simply clicking on uh, the hotspot itself and as you can see we're going to have uh, a prototyping menu on the right now on this prototyping menu we can see the target which uh, in this case is page two we can also set uh, the target as a symbol so basically the, this is going to redirect one of the symbols uh, i don't think you can clearly see it since i have uh, um, a little bit of more space uh, on my monitor which i'm not showing and um, yeah this is basically what you're going to see and uh, the back to the animations so we have a few set of animations the very first one is uh, no animation the second one is a uh, from the right uh, from the bottom from the left and also from the top so let's give it a shot uh, and uh, let's see how from the bottom looks like i'm just going to click on here click on the play button again and as you can see basically this is bringing the second screen uh, all the way from the bottom and uh, going to the top also try a few more of these uh, and uh, for the most part it's just a matter of trial and error sometimes you you want uh, some uh, swipe animations some sometimes you you want some uh, uh, other type of uh, effects uh, so it's going to help you give you give some depth uh, to the project uh, and um, it's all subjective really so it really depends on uh, the project uh, itself so yeah this is pretty much it um, also here on the bottom we, we still have the fixed position when scrolling if uh, uh, if needed and also maintain scroll position after click so yeah this is uh, pretty much it for this video I think we covered uh, pretty much everything um, one more thing I want to mention is that uh, if you're working on a Envision project uh, and uh, you have uh, the craft plugin which is uh, a free plugin uh, by envision you can also click uh, on uh, the prototype uh, and basically this is going to to give you the some some similar options but uh, the prototype is going to be synced with your envision project so this can be helpful if you're creating a prototype in envision and uh, you want to pretty much uh, create it from uh, sketch directly so you simply have to click on uh, this uh, third icon from the top which is the prototype and uh, you need to select a layer and uh, we're just going to select this layer right here and press c and as you can see uh, now we have uh, a uh, hotspot connection point which we can uh, redirect to other screens and uh, once I, cl I, I click on it uh, this uh, model window is going to appear and uh, the very first thing that we need to select is uh, if we want to link to a screen or link as an overlay so the more overlays are going to be useful for things like models and uh, popovers things like that and uh, i'm going to select the screen which uh, by the way is the screen which i just selected so this is almost like a confirmation of what you just selected um, you can also select the gesture so if this is going to be on the hover if it's on hover whenever i'm going to hover over this button i'm going to see the screen right away if it's on click it's uh, pretty much what we explored uh, until this very moment so you need to literally click on the button in order to access the screen 
And uh, over here, we can also see the interactions which are needed to uh, basically connect the screen and, and make it visible on mobile. So it can be a one single tap, which is almost like a, a desktop click, um, double tap, swipe right, left, uh, up and down. So this is going to give you some more granular features and um, can, can definitely be really useful at times. And you can also maintain the scroll position after clicking. So we're just gonna um, click on add link. And uh, as you can see, the link is uh, now selected. Now uh, you, you can always go here and you know change it or remove the link. And basically, once you're done with that, uh, you can simply go on, uh, on here, uh, send into your Envision account and sync directly to the Envision. And uh, also one more thing, if uh, for example, you don't want a hotspot anymore, which by the way, you can see on uh, the very left uh, layers panel, you can simply delete it since uh, it acts uh, almost as a, as a regular layer and you can, you can move it around. You can do, you know, all sorts of different things. You can uh, transform it and whatnot. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope uh, this video was useful. And uh, again, I'm leaving this uh, UI kit uh, as a freebie, which is, uh, um, this is a smaller uh, section, a smaller part of uh, my entire UI kit. This is actually a uh, entire UI kit, which I have on my store. If you're interested in uh, checking it out, uh, I'm leaving the my uh, UI kit store link in the descriptions. You can find the, uh, um, all sorts of different UI kits and also together with uh, freebies and uh, premium resources to learn and bring your UI UX design to the next level. So, so in the first part of the video, you learned everything that you need to know in order to create a prototype with Sketch and also with uh, Envision Craft plugin. And uh, in this part, uh, I also want to give you some extra ideas on uh, more softwares that you can potentially use uh, in order to create prototypes which can uh, be even better or more with more advanced features as we're going to see in uh, some of the softwares uh, right now. So the very, soft, the very first software which uh, I want to also recommend you to check out uh, is uh, Marvel App. And uh, Marvel App essentially allows you to create, uh, um, it's, it's almost like a sort of uh, envision. Um, it allows you to, to collaborate uh, quite easily and uh, you can also create uh, some uh, really interesting prototypes with it. The second software which I want you to have a look at is uh, Flinto. And uh, basically Flinto, as you can see, it allows you to create uh, prototypes which uh, uh, add even a, another dimension to um, things like animations and the UI interactions. So you can do all sorts of uh, different cool things. Uh, the learning curve is going to be a little bit higher, but definitely the, reward, the rewards can pay off quite a bit. And it's also quite uh, easy to use compared to some of the other UI animation tools, which I tried out there. And uh, yeah, definitely a software which uh, might be uh, really interesting for certain type of projects. The next software is uh, Principle. And uh, on this channel, I did uh, an entire series of videos on uh, how to learn uh, Principle. And basically, Principle allows you to create uh, even more granular animations. Like you can literally do, uh, you know, things which are quite uh, complex, but still in, a, in an easy and uh, fast and efficient way. And um, I guess principle is really good if you if you really need to go granular with uh, the animations. And uh, definitely I learned a, a tool that um, takes a, a bit to, to get to, to the grips to, but uh, it's definitely worth checking out because it allows you to have a, a much more granular creative freedom over your animations. Now, another tool which uh, is quite cool. I tried it. I didn't really went like uh, all in in it, uh, but it's uh, a framer. And basically what framer allows you to, to do is to uh, allow to sync uh, uh, both the design and the code uh, almost uh, simultaneously. So essentially framer um, is great uh, if you're planning in designing and uh, coding all in one app. 
So it definitely takes a while to, to learn it. But uh, again, um, another real, really cool tool, which uh, might be worth uh, checking out. And uh, I want to leave you with uh, one last software, which is uh, Proto.io. And uh, this is a software which I, I recently stumbled upon uh, while working with a colleague on a project. And uh, he tried it uh, and uh, I saw the potential quite uh, immediately. And as you can see, it's used by many very big companies. Um, again, it's going to take a, a, a bit more time to, to you know, compared to the basic uh, um, sketch prototypes, but you can definitely create something which is uh, more granular and uh, definitely more more advanced. And as you can see, you have all of these uh, UI elements, which are pretty cool. So yeah, this was uh, the last thing I wanted to mention in this video and uh, I'll leave you to the next one. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up as uh, this motivates me to create more content for you guys. And uh, if you're interested in more of these kind of videos, my YouTube channel have over 300 videos on UI UX design. And uh, by the way, um, in, uh, if you click in the link in the description, you're going to find all sorts of different uh, free and premium uh, resources in order to learn UI UX design and uh, also speed up uh, your design workflows. So feel free to check it out uh, if you're interested in that. Uh, and uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.